Um, uh, Miss Kinney? Okay, last name basis? What the hell, man? <clears throat> Sorry, Wolverine. I just want to know if, um, uh, Retro is done with his, uh, retro review, uh, or, uh, modern review now. Oh, I... Why, what's the difference? That's uh, a stupid remake. Uh, what's going on here? Why aren't you with the Ascani tribe and all that? Um, <clears throat> I just want to know when he's ready for that 40th anniversary guest review I was going to do with him with um, <clears throat> the Terminator. Oh, uh, soon-ish, I, I guess. Just, just... Hey, you done with this shit? Not quite. Ah! Really, John? Right now with the... With the, uh, the... The magical teleportation of Lotus. Are you not remembering our magics? Has Coco ripped your mind? Hey, that affects us. Not now. Look, you wanted to watch this review. You wanted to do the remake. You had to do this. Why? Seriously, what, what, what the bloody hell's wrong with you, mate? Some of us have to make a living doing this crap. Yeah, makes sense. Ow! You're just gonna leave like that? Yeah, mate. I got better things to do, like hang out with Z and do some weird shit in hell. By the way, oh, speaking of before I leave, um, the Bat Family called. <clears throat> What exactly? Well, one, I'm not your secretary, and two, uh, they want to know if you and Jason can do a Suicide Squad Isekai review in time for that new Joker movie. Yeah, sure, whatever. Uh, anyone else? Uh, they're going to try to get Damien as their enemy, because they like, you're damn right we are! Oh, come on, Jason. I was trying to lay it on a little more thicker than that. Yeah, yeah, consider it done, dude. All right, good. And, uh, yes, long story short, I do have, uh, business with Eric Draven, but, uh, whatever the hell that is. Uh, chilly old motherfuckers. <laughs> And there goes AdSense. Okay. Mm. Whoa, Gabe, what the hell are you doing here? Uh, just making sure you're you're, you're ready for that uh for that retro review for uh, the Terminator. Dude, did you just go back to your younger self? What, what, did he go back to the Xcani shop? I said the same thing too. Uh, just finish up, all right? All right, all right, all right, all right. Hey, everybody, what's up? This is a retro character reviews. Totally not uh having to do a figure down just to get. Act, uh, uh, I guess another shoot here. Yeah, I'm sorry for that. Anyway, uh, let's get to, uh, my overall thoughts and review for the new, um, Crow remake, and let's get the most obvious out of the way. Is Bill Skarsgård anything like, uh, the original movie? Um, yeah, not even close. So, in case, um, you missed my, uh, retro review earlier this week, go to the cards there, and, uh, with that all being said, uh, yeah, uh, this is a lot for even a, a standard issue remake of the 2010s. So the big production of um, the, the sorry the remake uh, was about a 10-year development hell, if I have even read that right on the wiki. So I'll uh, go to that as always now below, along with the cast. And um, there's a lot to say, uh, and by that I mean there's not a lot, and there is a production company that's kind of been a looming, looming uh, or I guess, uh, long time, long time uh, nemesis here on the channel, uh, Davis Productions. For those who remembered my uh, Resident Evil uh, retro review series I did uh, last Halloween, um, they basically flipped the bill for uh, the majority of those movies and a lot of um, stuff for Sony. So the fact that they switched to Lionsgate uh, for this movie is not really surprising. It's just it could have been way more, uh, I guess, weird fun. I guess in I guess Charlie's terms and uh, more Squidables uh, review. Go to that by the way. Uh, so, getting to the top, uh, there is one character actor I got used to that I mentioned in the retro review, uh, Danny Houston, uh, who was of, uh, X-Men Origins fame here on the channel, <clears throat> and why I'm here. Uh, he's doing the best what he could with the material, like, uh, most character actors of his time, but, uh, aside from the dusty screen, sorry for that, uh, ooh, can you tell him in 4K? Uh, that being said, um... Yeah, he's not really doing much. He's a standard foe antagonist for, like, a TV series and not really more of a Crow series. So, on to the Crow himself. Uh, no, not the original. I mean, Skarsgar. How is he at least trying to get the pain of Eric out of the way? Well, you get more time with him and Shelly establishing their relationship, and that's kind of the bulk of the runtime, which is okay. Uh, not gonna say Twigs is full, uh, pop star name, so my bad in advance, uh, go to the IMDb like always. But she did what she could, uh, for the material as, uh, Shelly as well. Uh, also we're on forced name basis because I believe that was the intent, I think, of the comic, so if there was any comic book authenticity that's kind of there, I will say, um, you kind of buy the relationship for about a good four minutes before you realize it gets a little cringy with the lines. So, nothing really home to write all home about. Also, I think this is going to be the first time for the channel I've done an actual, um, I think Scarscar review for, uh, Bill's work, because I didn't really do the It franchise, long story short there. I actually had childhood trauma with those Stephen King novels, just saying the man and, uh, yeah, the whole point of, uh, Retro Kid Retro Reviews is to talk about horror franchises that, you know, scared me as a kid and all that stuff, but, uh, yeah, Stephen King's gonna be a long wait for you guys, just saying in advance, but that being said, uh, Chapter 2, uh, was, uh, basically what 
the uh, book usually is. The first half is not bad with the kids, but when you get to the adults half, it's uh, getting pretty mid. I told you. I, okay, fine. Just wrap it up. Final thoughts and scores, since you don't really have time here. For what? For our, for the retro review that I want to do. You're styling like a villain version. You sure Stripe isn't in there? No, he's not. It's technically not possible. Yeah, he's getting mushed mouth of the brain some. Yeah, I'm gonna try to talk to your mom about that. Uh, still currently in space, hanging out with Grandpa Corsair. And I wasn't notified why. Uh, classified. Was it, though? Okay, Scott was a little more embarrassed and stuff. And you're using first name basis to your dad. And you know that's not weird, right? Says the woman calls to her dad, Logan, all the time. Okay, family ties aside. Uh, let's just get to the scores of this movie. Getting to the point, um... No, not that one. That's the better one. Uh, this one is all over the place in pretty much the worst ways. It feels like 90 minutes, but it feels like three hours if you really need to, like, get to the action scenes. Like, the last act is probably the best action and probably why I got mostly used in, in uh, I guess, the marketing for this movie. That having been said, I really have nothing else to say for this movie other than give it, unfortunately, my first in a very long time uh two out of ten this is a bad remake uh, there's no getting around it um almost all this cast is probably going to move on just fine uh the reason why i'm giving it the two is because i also have a history with the director uh mainly because he also was here on the channel a few years back when i did my ghost in the shell live action adaptation review so yeah the guy's kind of a short list of gun for hire directors and even the industry doesn't even trust him so yeah you can see where that goes there. So, with that all being said, and a very confused cable aside, okay, so, when we talk about it, do we have to talk about, like, all all scenes, like like the future war and stuff? Yeah, wait, you're offended by the future war, not the sex scene? Look, I've seen dark darker timelines than that. Y yeah, uh, him discussing what he wants to talk about in the retro review for uh, the, fir the first Terminator uh, in the end cards to sub the channel and the notification bell down below here, obviously, and uh, go to Laura... Is, am I involved with this somehow? How did I become your co-host? It's going to be that kind of year. All right, figures. Yeah, go to me here for the shorts for, I guess, any details or non spoilers stuff that uh, Retro might have missed in the uh, Retro Review since we got time. Oh, yeah, uh, if it looks very um, John Wick-inspired, I guess, is because I think Chad Skidowski of uh, John Wick Directing fame actually helped out in the original movie. Uh, wanted to have that tidbit in last minute. Yeah, there we go. I want to put that tidbit in last minute. With that all being said... Um, my apologies to anybody who wanted this remake to be better than what it was, but it's basically the long development hell of a lot of 2010s uh, remakes that I might have covered here on the channel. So, with that all being said, take care, subscribe. This is Stretch Character Guru saying, I am wrapping up way too long, and that's longer than the runtime of this movie, if you can believe that. So, yeah, sorry guys, but uh, I guess Lionsgate is just not having a good year, even after that Borderlands thing. Yeah, what the hell, guys?